So uh, I think it's only fair for the athletes and make it equal for all teams. Because we've been on the short end of that stick several times where you play late and, and then play early. Totally agree with him. We talked about that this match slated to start at 8.30 tonight. It's not going to. It's probably going to be 9, maybe 9.30. So if the Huskers were to wrap up, say, midnight, and then they had to come back and play tomorrow, that's a huge disadvantage. And probably, depending on TV times, right? probably wouldn't be in their favor either, probably depending on when they would have this. You know, the Elite Eight match scheduled, it probably wouldn't be fair to, you know, those teams that have to play late and then have to, because somebody has to play the early games right. on t for the TV purposes, which is great to have them on TV. I'm absolutely all for that. But when you have those times already scheduled and slated for TV slots, it's really unfair if you have to turn right around that quickly. So kudos to the NCAA. They got this right. Give them the day off. There's no reason that they, you have to have them come back and play tomorrow. They get to play Saturday. But get better courts, tonight. he better says. Court. Yeah, he wants a better court. Yeah. I want the uniqueness of the arena. Leave the home courts there. I don't need to see a generic court. Let, let well, it's got to be different. Let you know? Wisconsin's court be the Wisconsin court. So, All right, we talked about it earlier in the hour. Facing Illinois for the third time this year. The Oscars have swept them both, but it's tough to play somebody three straight times. Here's the coach talking about that challenge. Oh, they're, they played great against Kentucky, so we're going to get their A game. And um, um, so we're, we got our hands full. And, you know, and it, like Kenzie said, it's a new team. I mean, it's a new season, basically, and it doesn't really matter what happened in Big Ten. You know, that, that result and those matches and the finish of in the Big Ten is over with. It's a, it's a three-week season right now. We're in week two of it. So there's John Cook's comments yesterday at the media session down in Austin. We'll hear from Lauren Cook-West coming up at the top of next hour. Again, pregame at 8 tonight with John Bader, Lauren Cook-West. Wisconsin just finished off UCLA. They sweep the Bruins. So it's a Wisconsin-Minnesota region final Saturday in Madison. And... Washington still 21 16. Texas. So, yeah, the Huskies closing in a winning set one down in Austin. Our Sports Honey Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance and buy online at woodhouse.com. We're back to wrap up our one next. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. <coughs> Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. Your holidays could be even happier if you win the Nebraska Lottery's Sleigh Full of Joy promotion. Until January 5th, enter non-winning Nebraska Lottery holiday scratch tickets for a chance to win $1,000, $3,000, or $5,000 in one of our three drawings. Choose from $1 Merry Match 2, $3 Holiday Prize Lines, and $5 Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Enter the Sleigh Full of Joy promotion and you could start 2022 by winning a jolly little jackpot. Top prize odds vary by game. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, Nebraska fans. Jimmy Johns in Omaha is currently looking for people to join their team with sandwich maker positions starting at $12 to $15 an hour, management positions with competitive pay and benefits, and delivery drivers earning up to $30 an hour with mileage and tips. Visit DKPMCorp.com and apply now. That's DKPMCorp.com. 
jimmyjohns.com. Come join the Jimmy John's team today. You can also visit any of the local independently owned and operated Jimmy John's franchises to learn more. It's game on at Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont, featuring our winning combination of Buick SUVs and GMC trucks and SUVs. And as a GMC business elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles for your business needs. For the convenient and easy way to shop for your next vehicle, just visit our Fremont location or check out our full inventory at Sid Dillon Buick. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. We are professional grade. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas Acres Solutions for every field. Final few minutes here of Hour 1 here on Sports Nightly tonight. Wisconsin is through to the region final. They will play the Gophers on Saturday, so the Big Ten is guaranteed to have one team in the final four, and Washington has set point in uh, set one against Texas, up 24-18 down in Austin, and the Huskers will play about 30 minutes at the, after the conclusion of this match. Uh, could be a late night. Could be a late, late night for everybody here. But we're ready for it. We're ready to advance, and uh, hopefully... Hopefully the Huskies take care of Texas. <laughs> that wouldn't be bad. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, uh, mind that happen in, in, at all. Husker basketball, both the men and women will play on Saturday. We're going to hear some clips from Amy Williams coming up next hour. The Husker women back at PBA after playing several weeks on the road. They had the tournament out in San Diego. They had the Wake Forest road game. They had the Minnesota road game earlier this week. So they're going to be glad to get back and hope a good crowd comes out and watches that undefeated team play on Saturday. The men play early, 1030 a.m. Saturday morning. You know, this. I'm excited for this weekend, but I cannot wait for the, the women's basketball team to be back inside PBA. I think they're ready for it. They're fun to watch, and they, they love playing together. And so hopefully, you know, fans show up and show out for them because they deserve it. 9-0, and oh, there's not very many. I was trying to look that up to say how many undefeated teams are left in women's college basketball. It's less than 20 now. Yeah, would be probably this deep into it. Yeah, it's, there's not as nearly as many that have been. So one hour in the books. we got another hour to go. Lauren Cook-West will join us. We'll get her take on the matchup tonight with the Fighting Illini. She knows their coaches really well. They were here with John Cook as assistants prior to heading off to Illinois. And Lauren obviously played in matches just like this during her fabulous career, both at UCLA and at Nebraska. That and comments from Amy Williams coming up an hour or two. Come on back. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. This winter season, don't just get ready, drive ready with a new truck or SUV from Woodhouse. Easily tackle the snow-covered streets and holiday road trips with the whole family with our selection of the top truck and SUV brand lineups. Plus, our team is ready to get you the capability you need, the comfort you want, and the tech to keep the kids entertained. Visit one of our 17 locations and win the season with a new truck or SUV from Woodhouse. Your holidays could be even happier if you win the Nebraska Lottery's Slay Full of Joy promotion. Until January 5th, enter non-winning Nebraska Lottery holiday scratch tickets for a chance to win $1,000, $3,000, or $5,000 in one of our three drawings. Choose from $1 Merry Match 2, $3 Holiday Prize Lines, and $5 Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Enter the Slay Full of Joy promotion and you can start 2022 by winning a jolly little jackpot. Top prize odds vary by game. Hey Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT and ag. iowaworks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team www.iowaworks.gov Here we go again. The celebrating, the accolades. Ever since we added Marco to our team, our technology can't lose. Day after day, success after success, Marco's made our business IT a force to be reckoned with. The only drawback of being technology all-stars is keeping champagne away from the electronics! <sighs> Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com
Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Men's basketball head coach Fred Hoiberg met with the media today as his team prepares for Saturday's contest against Auburn. Hoiberg spoke on the topic of making adjustments to his game plan after his team's tough loss to Michigan while that same team battles the flu. Yeah, and, you know, the, the, the sh you had good shots early, and then we, after that it was not good. So, you know, we've got to find a way to control the game better. And, uh, you know, again, Alonzo obviously had it going. And, you know, we ran through him a lot, uh, getting into the paint, making plays, a lot of him for himself. So, uh, you know, for, again, today that, the plan was to go through a lot of that stuff. And, you know, we'll if he takes some of the shots we did against Michigan on Saturday, it's going to be worse. This team capitalizes. They've, they've unbelievably long. Uh, they'll run as much as any team will play all year. They turn you over uh, and they crash the glass. Uh, so, you know, it, it's, it's going to be a tall order with where we are right now. But, you know, we're, we are going to have to control the game better. Elsewhere in Big Ten men's basketball tonight, number, number one Purdue is currently having problems with Rutgers as the Scarlet Knights are up in Piscataway at half, 36 to 35. Iowa is 7-2 and two coming into this evening's matchup against number 17, who's undefeated currently, Iowa State. That one's still about an hour, uh, an hour away. In Big Ten women's basketball tonight, games that are currently underway. Number 10, Indiana leads Fairfield by a comfortable 51-27 to margin. That's at half. Rutgers is up on Penn State 31-27 at last check. That was in the third quarter. Illinois is in East Lansing leading the Spartans 39-38 to as that one is also in the third quarter. And then later tonight at 8, number 13 Michigan will tip off against Wisconsin. One programming note following the conclusion of Sports Nightly, Huskers Volleyball takes on Illinois in the Sweet 16 of the NCAA tournament. Pre-game coverage will begin at 8 p.m. The game preceding that one right now, number 15 Washington is off to a fast start as they are up 1-0 on Texas, number 2 in the tournament seeding wise that one is now in the second set with texas ahead seven to six as they look to even things up earlier finals today from the ncaa tournament number one louisville swept number 16 florida number three pittsburgh swept kansas number 12 minnesota upset baylor in spectacular fashion and then number six purdue had to fight tooth and nail to stop the upset against number 11 BYU in five, so Purdue escapes that one. Number eight, Georgia Tech swept number nine, Ohio State, and you heard Greg just mention it. Number four, Wisconsin took care of business, sweeping number 16, UCLA. Thursday Night Football is just a few minutes away. The Pittsburgh Steelers are in Minnesota to take on the Vikings. Dalvin Cook will play in that one after there was some question as he is dealing with a shoulder injury. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelpt, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Beat Scoggin, heat check three, deep left. Carter, you betcha. Scoggin hit two in a row for the Huskers. 81 55 big red. They're just not taking their foot off the throat. Webster coming to the right side, finds Wilcher, shoots the three on the way. A ring! C.J. Wilcher, back set, middle swing, Keela Caffey, kaboom, puts a dent in the Devaney deck. Michael Keaton in the forecourt, drives in the lane, flips it up to the left, here and it finishes! Michael Keaton is taking over the game! Kicks it out, Tominaga, three on the way, bang! A ring, a ring! And Tominaga, it's another huge, humongous, gigantic three. And the Huskers, the slide, Caffey, kaboom! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Busy sports night going on. Tim had a lot in that ticker for you tonight. We're going to have a late night here at HRN as we've got sports only up until 8 o'clock, and then we'll hand it off to John Bader, Lauren Cook-West for Husker Volleyball as they get ready to compete in a regional semifinal against the Fighting Illini. And it could be a match that goes into the night, late night hour so uh Settle in, get that hot cocoa ready, and get ready to uh, listen to some Husker volleyball here coming up in just about an hour. We'll also hear from Amy Williams. She had a presser today. Huskers back at home Saturday, 1 o'clock against Indiana State to take on the Sycamores. We'll hear her thoughts about the start to the season, a good road win at Minnesota the other night, and then get ready to take on Indiana State. But we start the hour off by welcoming on board. Lauren Cook-West is getting all set up and ready for the match to call here in about 90 minutes tonight. Laura, great to have you with us. Hope you're doing okay. Thanks for having me on, Greg. 
Well, this has been a fun year, right? And and uh, we said earlier in the week that 27 years out of 28, Nebraska's made a regional semifinal. I hope people don't take that for granted. Lauren, and you were part of a lot of those. This is really special to be right back where they are this year. It's always a special time of year, and I, I get so nervous. I was never nervous when I played, but <laughs> now watching, it's I can barely breathe right now. I'm, I, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to pass out. I, I just get so nervous this time of year, and this season's been up and down with, you know, Lauren Stiverns out at the beginning, and then her coming back, and then Nicklin out at the beginning, and, and she came back, and different lineup changes, and so I just I hope that the Huskers can put it all together here at the end, and they, they showed us that they could do that last weekend, but they just they deserve it. They've been working really hard. They always give 110% when it comes to effort, and so I, I just hope that uh, they're able to show up tonight and all their hard work pays off. So all across the NCAA volleyball tournament, we're seeing Big Ten teams advance, but right now playing ahead of Nebraska is Texas and Washington. Washington took the first set. They're leading Texas right now. If you're in that gym right now and you're, you're a Husker and you're watching, I mean, how do you stay dialed in on your match? Are you paying attention? Take us through what a, what a player is kind of going through right now as they're getting set to, to tip off or play in this uh, Sweet 16 match. Well, that's a great question, Jessica. Usually, uh, Coach Cook lets you watch the first set, and the reason he does that is just to give you an idea for if we if Nebraska were to make it to into the match Saturday. Uh, so they have an idea of who they're going to be playing, what those matchups are going to look like, uh, just some live action, because otherwise all you have to watch is video. And, and sometimes that's tough to see, uh, you know, video versus live play, the, the differences. So uh, usually they get to watch a set or two, and then they're in the locker room. There's probably some meditation, some visualization going on. They're, you're listening to music. You're just getting your mindset right, uh, and then warming up and, and getting ready to play. And I I think we have a lot of veteran players and, and they've been here before and, and they, they understand, you know, what's on the line and, and how to deal with some of those nerves. But we also have some younger players who we're going to see in the starting lineup tonight. And uh, I just hope that they can feed off of those older players and those older players will just kind of hold their hand and guide them through and, and help them through this process because it can be nerve wracking the first you know few times that, that you go through the NCAA tournament. If you had your preference, would you rather be the first match? That's that's a tough one. Oh, I don't know. I <laughs> there's pros and cons. I mean, every, there's pros and cons to everything. Uh, I I would love to be like a 5 p.m. match. So Wisconsin UCLA, that was a perfect time. Now the Louisville match this morning, the BYU Purdue match, those matches are just too early. And then I feel like these matches are too late. And if this Washington, Washington, Texas match ends up going four or five sets. Nebraska's match could start at 9, 9.30, maybe even 10 o'clock. And I remember last, I think it was last year or two years, maybe, well, because of COVID, maybe three years ago, but uh, Kentucky was getting ready to start a match and they were, they were in the late slot, and I think they ended up starting play at like 11 p.m. at night. And then they had to turn around and play the next day because for some reason they switched regionals. Normally the regional setup is you play Friday and Saturday, uh, and it's not until the Final Four when you play Thursday, Saturday. But uh, this year they switched it to Thursday, Saturday. I like that better because it gives the girls a day of recovery. But Kentucky played at 11 p.m. Uh, Friday night and then had to turn around and play Saturday. So uh, it's there's pros and cons to all of it. But I think 5 or 6 p.m. or 4 p.m. start time is ideal. We heard Coach Cook talk earlier about the courts. And, and uh, you know, hopefully we can get a change with the courts. Why do we need to change these courts? <laughs> So it's a sport court. <laughs> and first of all, your hair is so staticky when you play on a sport court. And then when you go to give someone a high five, you're just constantly shocking your teammates. So I, I would say that's the, the biggest complaint. <laughs> I don't think Coach Cook cares about that, but uh, uh, your hair is just like standing straight up on top of your head. And, you know, you got to look good when you're playing. It's fit, yeah, then, you're on national television now. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, you don't want to have spiky hair. So <laughs> that's that's an issue. But um, realistically speaking, that what they do is the sport court is plastic. So it's really hard on your body. And, and they put it usually over a wood floor, a concrete floor, cement floor. Uh, and there's, there's barely any cushion beneath it. So 
girls who are used to playing on these TerraFlex floors, like Nebraska and a lot of other programs uh, who, have, who have purchased TerraFlex floors and have those out, there's a lot of padding and cushioning beneath those. They're easier on your bodies. Uh, your, your knees don't hurt, your back doesn't hurt. And then when you go to the sport court, you just feel like you're constantly jumping on concrete. And um, it, it wears on your body. I know a lot of girls uh, who who do win today's match and have to play Saturday, they are a little sore, uh, especially if they've been used to playing on a TerraFlex court all season. So there's just not a lot of cushioning, not a lot of padding. It's hard on the bodies. Players can get hurt. and uh, You have staticky hair. And, yes, exactly. That's the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren Cook-West is with us here on Sports Island, gracious enough to give us some of her time as she and JB are getting warmed up and ready for coverage beginning at 8 o'clock tonight. This, this uh, weekend is in Gregory Gym down on the Texas campus. What's that place like? Ooh, it's, it's been a while since I've been in there for a, a match, but it's, I would describe it, it's a similar atmosphere to the Coliseum. It's an old gym. The fans are, are right there. They're right on top of the players. It gets loud in there. It's an electric atmosphere. Texas fans, they do know volleyball. You know, they, Texas is usually one of the top teams in the country every year, and so uh, they, they love supporting their Longhorns. They're, they're rowdy. Uh, we all know t Texas fans. I'm not going <laughs> to... We won't talk too much trash on here, but... Um, <laughs> It's uh, it's it's definitely a fun atmosphere to play in. If you're Texas, if you're the opposing team, I think it does give you a little extra fuel or motivation uh, because you want to quiet down those fans. And uh, I don't know how how loud it will be uh, since Texas is playing. Normally, what they do is the host site plays second. Um, so that's another thing they switched up this year. And uh, so Texas is playing first, so I don't know how many of those those Texas fans will stay around after, but I'm sure there will be plenty of Nebraska fans there. I asked Kelly Hunter this yesterday, but would love to hear your take on this too. What makes Coach Cook so successful, so good in the postseason? Ooh, I I just think his first of all he's very competitive so he wants to win he loves to win he's also just one of the hardest workers i know um, so he's watching video i mean he's staying up till 10 11 p.m at night after practice after meetings you know after doing radio or, t or tv interviews he's then going back to the office and staying up and watching video and, and preparing and um you know just he just puts so much into it and i don't think people realize you know, they think, oh, volleyball coach, you know, you just show up for practice and then you're you're out there for games and there's not much else to it. But uh, he just puts so much into it and, and works so hard and, and is just so competitive and wants to win and wants to be great and, and wants and he's constantly trying to learn. Uh, I, th I think that's another thing that makes him so successful is he he's never satisfied with where he's at. He's always trying to get better and, and figure out ways that he can be a better coach and um, whether that's on the court or off the court and so I just think that's what he's, he's constantly finding ways to learn, and that's what has helped him over all these years to stay at the top. Lauren, this will, it's Illinois tonight, third time they've played the Illini. I don't remember if you had to face somebody three times in a season. If so, tell us about that, and then also about the coaching staff for Illinois. They obviously know Coach Cook, the Nebraska program, really well after spending a few years here. Well, I love Chris and Jen Thomas. Uh, they were some of my favorite coaches that were here at Nebraska. And um, I, they, they know the sport, just like Coach Cook. They're very hard workers. They put a lot into it. Uh, they want to be successful. And uh, they, I mean, when, ever since Chris took over that Illinois program, they, they've been a really well coached. Uh, the girls play hard. They, they know the game. Uh, and, and they do a great job every year. And I'm a little concerned, Greg, about this matchup tonight because it's tough to play a team, I mean, let, once, let alone twice, and now three times all in one season. And the other thing that concerns me, and, and I don't think Nebraska will have this mindset, but they beat Illinois pretty, pretty easily the first two times we played them. And so I hope the Huskers don't go into tonight's matchup and think, oh, we've, we've already beat them twice. We have this in the bag. It will be an easy win. Uh, I just, Illinois looked really hot against uh, their last few, in their last few matches. And I, I think they're going to come out hot tonight again. And, and they're playing really well in, in high level volleyball right now. And, and Nebraska needs to match that. And uh, I just, I hope that, uh, that they have that mindset tonight and it's it's not the opposite.
What do you want to see out of Nicklin Hames as she kind of manages uh, this one tonight and hopefully two wins? What, what does she need to do to, in order for the Huskers to win two and advance to that final four? Well, I just want to start off by saying, because I was a setter, I think I'm, I'm more critical of that position. Uh, so there, I have a long to-do list for Nicklin, and, and Nicklin <laughs> is an amazing setter. I don't want anyone to think that uh, I, I don't think she's a good setter because she is the heart and soul of this team, and, and she leads, and she, pl she plays hard, and uh, especially when it comes to defense. I mean, she's kept the Huskers alive in so many rallies, but uh, focusing on her setting, there, I'll give you three big points that she needs to to focus on uh, in order for Nebraska to win. The first one is setting the middle. And we've seen her struggle setting the middle as of late. She's been setting the middle too, too low. And part of that is, uh, and Kelly Hunter was talking about this in a post game, uh, she she drops her hands and when you're setting you want to have high hands and so she drops her hands that ball drops and then the connection between the middles is all thrown off in the tempo there and, and because that set to the middle happens so fast uh, your technique has to be perfect in order for that ball to get where it needs to go so uh, she needs to set the middles more efficiently she needs to get the ball to them more uh, just get that ball higher keep her hands higher uh, when we run the middle we're unstoppable uh, the other thing that she needs to do is she has to be aggressive when she's in the front row. So when Nicklin rotates to the front row, you lose your third attacking option because she's in place of that right side. So she just has two attackers. Well, then the offense becomes very predictable. Well, when Nicklin goes up to jump set, if she starts being aggressive and, and throwing that ball occasionally down on that second contact instead of setting it, then the opposing block in D has to respect her as an attacker, which then opens up those other two attackers because they're so concerned on, you know, when Nicklin's jump setting in the front row, is she going to throw that ball down or is she going to set it up? And so that holds the, the, especially the middle, opposing middle blocker. Uh, and like I said, it will open up those pin attackers. Uh, so she needs to be aggressive, and, and her goal is one kill per set, which is definitely doable. She just needs to have the confidence to go for it. And then the third thing she needs to do, Nicklin is a, has some tendencies as a setter, and one of those tendencies is she likes to set with the flow. And what that what I mean by that is the direction that the ball is moving. So let's say the ball is passed to that left front area. Then Nicklin normally will run over there and set that left front attacker. So she sets in the direction that the ball is moving. Well, what we need Nicklin to do tonight is mix it up and set more against the flow. So if the ball is moving to that left pin, if that pass or dig is moving over there, she needs to set that ball all the way back to the right pin. And what that does is that throws off the opposing block and defense and gets you gets those pin hitters again in another one-on-one -on -one situation, and makes it easier for them to get a kill. Lauren, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great call tonight. Hopefully with you, you don't have to fill 90 minutes of pregame. <laughs> you'll, have to, you'll hear a lot of verbiage from JB if you have to sit through that. I know, I know. It, it's always, JB makes it fun. So I, I, I'm okay if we do have to sit through an extended pregame. But thank you so much for having me on, Greg and Jessica, and uh, go Big Red. There you go. Lauren Cook-West with us here on Sports Out A Top of the Hour. Her and JB will have the call. Washington up 21-17. Oh, man. Could have a major upset going on in Austin tonight. Lauren joined us on our Sports Highly Hotline, brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance and buy online at woodhouse.com. Com. All right, phone lines open for you. Your thoughts about Husker volleyball, Husker basketball, Husker football. It's all fair for you. 402-413-2400. If you have a comment, a call, question, text, all that available for you. Back to take those, and we'll hear from Amy Williams. who had a press conference today. That's coming up next. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. 
Welcome to Ag Answers. Today we're talking about renewable biofuels like corn ethanol and soy biodiesel. Electric vehicles continue to make headlines as we look for ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But did you know by using ethanol, you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 46% compared to traditional gasoline and by up to 86% when you use biodiesel compared to petroleum diesel? Locally produced biofuels are the here and now solution to combating climate change. They are good for our air, good for our wallets, and good for Nebraska. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska researchers are designing the next generation of roadside steel barriers through an industry partnership with Traffic's devices. This partnership has produced the Delta Crash Cushion, a simplistic, effective way to keep drivers safe on highways. This barrier is vital for roadside safety and significantly improves the chances motorists will be able to walk away from roadside collisions. When you choose Woodman Life, you choose a better life insurance company. Yes, Woodman Life is life insurance, but so much more. Woodman Life is here to protect your family's financial future and offer help when the going gets tough. And Woodman Life is honored to join you in the celebration of family, community, and country. Get to know Woodman Life at woodmanlife.org. Woodman of the World Life Insurance Society, Omaha, Nebraska. There's a call on the field for a quality seed specific to where you farm. Make the right call with Prairie Valley. With local research in eight regions throughout Nebraska, Prairie Valley performs with their locally specific hybrids and varieties while achieving the highest quality and yield. No matter where you farm in Nebraska, Prairie Valley has the seed for where you are. Find a local dealer and learn more about the seed for where you are at prairievalleyseeds.com. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Husker Pride, powered locally. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Lutz is an integrated business solutions firm born and raised in Nebraska with offices in Omaha, Lincoln, Hastings, and Grand Island. Lutz provides expert accounting, consulting, financial, technology, M&A, and talent solutions tailored to you. Lutz embraces your business as their own to discover the right solutions to help you thrive. They mind what matters for businesses or individuals seeking a partner to help energize and heighten financial and organizational success. Visit Lutz.us slash GBR. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. This year, don't just get ready, get holiday ready with Ford. And the best place to start is at your local Ford dealer. Whether you're getting out to the mall or getting off the grid, we've got a Ford SUV that's perfect for you. Or check out America's best-selling trucks, Ford F-Series. Inventory is arriving daily, so get the season started off right and get our best offers during the Get Holiday Ready sales event at your local Ford dealer. Best-selling claim based on 1977 to 2020 calendar year total sales. Hey Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team www.iowaworks.gov celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics check out what's new in Omaha which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and zone 6 in Exarbon Village another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes 
Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. This year, fire off your holiday catering wish list of Famous Dave's. For smaller gatherings, get their legendary pit barbecue and Famous Sides to go. Fixing for a larger group? There's delivery and setup. Or go all out with full service where Famous Dave's catering team handles all the details while you savor all the glory. While you're at it, get your mitts on a $10 reward card when you purchase a $50 gift card. Holiday catering and gifting by Famous Dave's. Because when there's smoke and fire, there's joyful and triumph. Located in Lincoln and Bellevue and Famous Dave's. Our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas Acres Solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. A couple of texts to clean up here. How do you think the current quarterbacks on the roster are going to react to a transfer portal quarterback? I think Logan likes the competition, but guys like Heinrich Harburg, will they enter the portal? I, I guess, maybe, but, you know, Adrian has left. I, I don't know that the coaches have a choice. I think they got to try to find a more of a veteran guy. Yeah, and, I mean, again, we'll see how it all plays out, but I think absolutely you can see how it goes and, and go fight for it and see where you kind of stand. But, look, everybody, we saw it how many times this year. We've seen it every year. We see it all across college football. you got to have a good backup, too. So, you know, that's an, an, an important job, too. But with a new offensive coordinator and new kind of coaches on that offensive staff, it will be a competition in the spring. So, absolutely, you would think as a competitor you'd go in, see what you can do to win the job, but you would probably like to have some more depth in that room, absolutely. Yeah, you, right now you only have two scholarship guys here. Now they may sign one next week on signing day, but Heinrich and Logan are the only two scholarship quarterbacks on the roster for, for Nebraska. Rudy in Florida says, why don't the players get flu shots? Nebraska lost to Texas in a football championship game because of the flu bug that goes through these teams. I think a lot of them do. They, yeah. they, at least they offer it to them. Yeah, I think so. I ju it's just... With the flu shot, right? I mean, it's you. It's kind of hit or miss sometimes. Uh, but yeah, I think they're doing you know everything they can to kind of stay healthy and and still you know with the COVID stuff too. They're they're doing what they can. The masks are mandated here in Lincoln. You see all over um, all over campus, people wearing masks. So it's it's not like uh, you know precautions aren't being taken. It's just sometimes it it gets in and as we were talking about earlier. It's just so close quarters, and, and, you know, when you're so close to, to guys, it, it just kind of spreads. Just because you get those shots doesn't, it doesn't eliminate it completely. I mean, you still can get it. It just is hopefully to reduce the severity of it, whether it's the flu or COVID, if you have uh, the vaccination. Also, Dave in Omaha liked your point, Jessica, about asking the players, asking the athletes for some input about signing day. They're certainly a huge part of this thing. I, I kind of agree with Jeremiah to the point that if, and I said it earlier, if you if you commit, let them sign. But if the coach leaves between then and when you come to campus, you should be allowed to be out, get out of your national letter. I mean, obviously, I, I'm you know big. I appreciate and, and agree with a lot of what Jeremiah says, but I will disagree with him on the fact about you know players and and how they're recruited. There are a lot of guys that. Um, get really, really close to their coaches and their position coaches. I mean, this recruiting process, you just, um, you know, it's, it's you're constantly talking to guys and, and you kind of develop relationships and you build bonds and you hear all the time about, you know, how guys, they, they become a father figure to them. And so I think absolutely players are, they are committed to the program and they're committed to the atmosphere. I mean, you, you see it all the time. Players come here on their recruiting visits and they fall in love with, you know, the, the sellouts and, and how loud and rowdy Husker Nation is. But they're also buying into those coaches that are recruiting them and they build those bonds. And so I think it's, it is it is really important to these players these days, those coaches. And if they do leave, I, I can see them absolutely not wanting wanting to follow them or maybe not wanting to be here if they leave. It's You would like for student athletes to make their choice based on the school and all that but that's la-la land. They don't. They, they form a connection with a coach. Maybe the head coach, maybe it's an assistant coach, but they form a connection in who they feel comfortable with, and that's why, in most cases, that's why they sign. Yeah, and I mean, you think about, he was talking about people leaving Notre Dame and Oklahoma. I mean, there are, there are players that stay at those places because of that, too. And I mean, I think you see that, that here, you know, like a Nebraska kid, right? You know, if they are from this state and they grew up a fan and they love it here, they're probably staying here no matter what. But for some of these 
players that might be coming from all over the country, it's a, it might be a different story. It, 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 what got them here a lot of times is, is that relationship with that coach. And so it's just kind of how players I feel like are. I talked to a lot of these recruits, and the first thing that they say a lot of times, I mean, I just talked to five of them the last home game. You know, what made you lock in on, on Nebraska? And a lot of them, their first response is a coach. You right. know, how much they believe in Coach Frost and how much they believe in – uh, you know, whoever that position coach is, Bear Rude, whoever's recruiting them. And so it is, it's a big, big part of why players choose where they're going and going to play their college career. Update from Austin. The Washington Huskies have taken the first two sets from the number two team in the country. The Texas Longhorns are about ready to start set number three. Again, we'll join coverage from Austin at the top of the hour with John Bader and Lauren Cook-West. Husker Volleyball, or Husker Basketball, got a win on Monday in their conference opener against Minnesota, and they are currently 9-0 and on the season. Amy Williams had a press conference earlier today, and she was asked, has the season exceeded her expectations so far? Um, I think that the, the, the record probably is just, you know, exceeding, you know, in certain, I didn't really have a record in mind or an expectation. I think, you know, from our standpoint, it's, um, if you can handle the day to day stuff that you want to go well, the chemistry, the competition, the compete, the, the kids that are willing to work, the, um, you know, true, genuine, good teammates that want to, that are excited for each other's successes. And, you know, then the wins and losses kind of take care of themselves. And, um, that's, that's kind of where we just have kind of kept our focus on the process part. And then I know a lot of people around our program are very excited about the results results part and um and you know but for us i think you know if we can just continue to stay focused on what's been working well for this group then um then we feel like that that wins and losses will take care of itself you know i i just did a piece with izzy born that, that went out today on social and she's kind of said the same thing about how much this team enjoys being around each other and you know it's it's hard work you know absolutely she's like she first said it's not hard work and she's it is hard work but it doesn't feel like work because we enjoy so much playing together i think that shows you know we've talked a lot about how much fun it is to watch this team play because they genuinely enjoy playing together and I think you can see they don't care who scores you know they just want to win and they find ways to win you know earlier I said how big that win was against Minnesota you know going through that adversity I think they grew even closer kind of with every new experience they're, they're getting closer and what's scary too is that this is a young basketball team too they got a lot of young young talent on that team they do they've already won three true road games they beat San Diego Wake Forest and then the Minnesota game on Monday night, here's the coach talking about being able to win away from home. Uh, I think a little bit of all of those things, you know, obviously I think the next day in practice, even just on the airplane ride home, it's, it's just a lot um, uh, more fun to be a part of a win in that situation. But I think the biggest place that we feel like that's going to show some payoff for us is when we um, get to that point where we, are in that position again and you know that there are going to be opportunities where you're going to be on the road in a hostile environment down um, in the Big Ten Conference and to know that we can do this if we come together we can overcome this and and that that experience of of having done that before really helps in those moments. It's huge on two fronts. One, it's a good resume builder, right, for, for March. You're, you're putting together a resume showing you can win away from PBA. But two, and we talked a lot about it in football, how that Illinois football game back in August was so big because to set the mindset that one, get the season off to a good start, but also to realize you can win away from home. Jeff Grish had a crazy stat, and we have to, I need to fi figure out exactly what it was, but it's they've already won on every day of the week and it's been a long time they've won every single day monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and it's been a long time since they've done that i don't know it's like kind of a crazy set i was thinking about That's that but cool. you know they 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 have and they've won against a a bunch of different kind of styles of basketball, which I think, again, will be big going into Big Ten play. They've already seen a lot of different looks. And, um, yeah, it's just finding ways to win, getting that confidence. And this team's got a lot of confidence right now. And I, they're really, really excited, as we've said, to, to get back home. It, it's always good and big and uh, really important to win on the road. you got to steal some on the road, but you got to protect the home court. And I know this team is really excited to get back inside PBA. In that Minnesota game on Monday, Sam Hybe did not play real well. 
but she sure did late when it mattered. You know, she loves going back to the barn. She's from that area. She had a lot of family and friends in attendance for that night. She came up huge in that Monday victory over the Gophers. Here's Amy Williams talking about the clutch play she got out of Hyvee on Monday. Yeah, I mean, I think her experience really kicked in um, uh, in the is particularly in the fourth quarter there, um, and maybe just as much as her experience is her competitive nature. And um, Sam loves to compete, and I know it's been well documented about her sports kind of and her her participation on the baseball team. And and every time I called her out, you know, playing hockey with the guys pick up hockey on the ponds in Moorhead and you know she loves to compete and so if I really want to you know see her kind of raise to the next level in practice I need to put a number on it or I need to make it um competition and she you know and I think in that moment there she really wanted to win at Minnesota and um you know her home state her whole family was there a lot of her Morehead spuds, teammates and classmates and, and friends uh, came over for that game. And I think um, particularly in the fourth quarter, we saw her experience and confidence with being able to make a play, but also um, just her competitive spirit kind of kick in. So happy for her because I know that means a lot when you go back to your home state and play. And she again, she wasn't very good for about 30 minutes of that game, but when it mattered, she was there. I think it just speaks volumes about Sam and how she's kind of uh, been the leader for this team and, and has kind of been okay with taking the back seat and, and letting her teammates, you know, be the star of the show on any, any given night. And, boy, this team loves her, and they appreciate her support. And, and But then she turns it on and shows that she can take over a game when she needs to. That's just so critical for a leader to be – you know, someone that's supportive and, and a big cheerleader and, and such an important leader, but then, oh, she can turn it on when she knows her team needs it the most. She gets her own shot. Those are hard people to find in basketball. She can get her own shot and get to the basket. She'll be big all season long. And I know she's battled some injuries, too. She's had some nagging injuries, nothing that's kept her out of games, but she's battled through that throughout the season. All right, one last one from the coach. They do play Indiana State. They're 3-5. and five. They lost their best player to an injury back in Thanksgiving so the Sycamores are struggling a little bit as they come to town for the Saturday game. Here's the coach with a little scout on Indiana State. Yeah, I mean, Indiana State is a really athletic team that's going to put a lot of pressure and throw a lot of different defenses at our way. And so um, we're, it's going to take some preparation and, and extra preparation when you're right smack in the middle of, of um, dead week and getting prepared for finals week, you know, is always, um, you know, there's some added and extra challenges that go along with that. So uh, we're going to have to be uh, sharp and ready to go. And I know they'll be motivated and excited. And one of my former players is on their coaching staff. And, and so, um, you know, I can't, I can't uh, let one of my former players have any type of bragging rights, you know. So, <laughs> um, but we're we're excited to welcome them to to Lincoln, and um, but we know that they'll bring a challenge our way for sure. One o'clock tip at PBA pregame coverage here on the network begins at twelve forty-five. Huskers and Sycamores of Indiana State. Hey, this season share Valentino's tailgater tradition with a big red double jumbo deal. Get two one-topping jumbo pizzas for only $17.99. Order yours online at valentinos.com. Valentinos, the official pizza of the Huskers. 402-413-2400, the number to dial us up with a comment or question or fire off a text. We've had a few of those here tonight. Back with some of your responses, and we'll update that match in Austin coming up next. When you choose Woodman Life, you choose a better life insurance company. Yes, Woodman Life is life insurance, but so much more. Woodman Life is here to protect your family's financial future and offer help when the going gets tough. And Woodman Life is honored to join you in the celebration of family, community, and country. Get to know Woodman Life at woodmanlife.org. Woodman of the World Life Insurance Society, Omaha, Nebraska. You always dreamed of owning your own farm. Now you're living your dream, and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together. Massey Ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do, making them easier to operate, more comfortable to drive, more versatile than ever. Massey Ferguson gives Nebraska farmers the power and performance to win in the field. 
MERS Farm Equipment in Falls City, Nebraska. www.mersfarmequipment.com Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. What is HighBid.com? It's the online auction site for just about everything under the sun. Art and antiques, cars and coins, office equipment and furniture, toys and tools. You can find it all at HighBid.com. HighBid.com gives you access to thousands of auctions across the USA and around the world. Browse the most popular auctions, search for the exact item you want, or just explore the site. Go to HighBid.com, that's H-I-B-I-D.com, and find what you're looking for today. This year, don't just get ready, get holiday ready with Ford. And the best place to start is at your local Ford dealer. Whether you're getting out to the mall or getting off the grid, we've got a Ford SUV that's perfect for you. Or check out America's best-selling trucks, Ford F-Series. Inventory is arriving daily, so get the season started off right and get our best offers during the Get Holiday Ready sales event at your local Ford dealer. Best-selling claim based on 1977 to 2020 calendar year total sales. You train for this. Endless hours of cardio, conditioning, and weights. And now, you are ready. Ready to trek back to your seat from the concession stand. Through the lines, lost fans, and that mascot who wants you to do a little dancey dance. All without spilling a drop of your ice-cold Bud Light. Welcome back to football, sports fans. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Score a game-winning drive when you buy your next vehicle at Sid Dillon Chevrolet. As a Chevrolet Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles, including medium-duty trucks and low-cab forwards. Whatever vehicle fits your needs, we're here to make the purchase process easy. Visit our Chevy locations in Blair, Crete, Fremont, or Wahoo. Plus, shop our full inventory at SidDillonChevy.com. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. Chevy, find new roads. Much like the values of the people of Nebraska, Nebraska Realty was built on the principles of hard work, dedication, and doing things the right way. They believe strongly in the power of creating lasting relationships and the value those relationships hold. Their success is based on trust and the relationships created with the people and communities they serve across the state of Nebraska. There really is no place like Nebraska Realty. Your holidays could be even happier if you win the Nebraska Lottery's Slay Full of Joy promotion. Until January 5th, enter non-winning Nebraska Lottery holiday scratch tickets for a chance to win $1,000, $3,000, or $5,000 in one of our three drawings. Choose from $1 Merry Match 2, $3 Holiday Prize Lines, and $5 Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Enter the Slay Full of Joy promotion and you could start 2022 by winning a jolly little jackpot. Top prize odds vary by game. Looking for a great Christmas gift idea? Look no further than expanding your loved one's Husker closet with an item from the new 255 collection, inspired by legendary coach Tom Osborne. With high quality at the forefront, 255 can be worn anywhere, from sporting events and business meetings to backyard get-togethers. No matter the occasion, 255 is about feeling confident, looking good, and celebrating the remarkable coaching career of Tom Osborne. Shop now at Huskers.com or participating retailers. For more information, visit Huskers.com slash 255. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Hello, I'm Tom Osborne. 
And I'm Coach Frost. Statistics prove that youth who are mentored and receive support and guidance from a caring adult show measurable improvement in academic achievement, motivation to succeed, and hope. Over the past 30 years, teammates have served more than 43,000 youth. And right now, there are more than 1,000 waiting for a teammate's mentor to visit with them once a week in school. For more information on how you can help the Teammates Mentoring Program, please go to teammates.org. And thank you for supporting our youth. Sponsored by Nebraska Crossing Fast Cash App. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere Dieter, with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres Solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootey with you here on a Thursday night. It's going the Huskies' way down in Austin. They are up 15 to 10, 15 11 now in set three. Washington has won the first two sets. Uh, the winner gets the winner of the Nebraska-Illinois game, which is coming up later tonight here on the network. Top of the hour, we're handing it off to John Bader. Texas Warren looks Kirkwest. stunned. They, they just look shocked. They do. Washington came out and just punched them in the mouth, and they have not responded. Still time, but they're digging a hole. It's a big hole. Uh, down two sets, love. Good day for the Big Ten. Purdue won a five-setter over BYU to get to a region final. They will play Pittsburgh, who swept the Jayhawks who had won the Creighton sub-regional uh, last week. And then you also had uh, Wisconsin winning in a sweep and Minnesota winning in five and a great match with Baylor. And that sets up an all-Big Ten region final in Madison on Saturday. So the Big Ten guaranteed of having one team in the Final Four, which is in Columbus, Ohio next week, a Big Ten city for uh, that coming up uh, next week. On Thursday, Saturday will be the Final Four. Huskers again coming your way later tonight. And you know... The nerves have to be going, as Lauren Cook told us earlier in the hour. Coach Cook likes to let them watch the first set, so they've probably been down kind of in the bowels of that facility, hanging out, listening, and putting their – do they wear beats? The kids still wear beats, or is it all or just – AirPods, or you just, know. Are beats a thing of the past? No, beats are still cool. So people say, Andrew, yeah. you got beats? He does. Okay, I, I don't know. I'm trying to stay with it. You know, I'm trying to stay here. <laughs> I have earbuds, but I don't know if anybody still had beats or not. Uh, well, you know, it's going to be crazy if Washington ends up sweeping this thing, and it's like because we've been talking about how long, long it's going to be and how maybe not. <laughs> they're going to come out thinking, "Wait, that didn't take long." JB might be disappointed. <laughs> He's ready to Teddy. educate us. I learn a new word every time JB's on the on the call. He does. He likes to pull out his. <laughs> thesaurus and dictionary and do all that stuff but uh 16 13 the current score uh down in austin you know what i love greg today we've talked a lot of women's sports and i think it's so awesome that we have a volleyball team that's you know competing to to hopefully go to a final another one and a women's basketball team that's unbeaten and i love that we're giving them some love absolutely husker volleyball fans and the Husker basketball team off to the great start. It's fun stuff there. And uh, I can report that the Vikings have taken the lead on the Steeders. I, I, I do that with a bit of a grin right now. Hey, buckle up. Put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We'll work our final break in, and we'll get out of here. Hand it off to JB and Lauren coming up next. Much like the values of the people of Nebraska, Nebraska Realty was built on the principles of hard work, dedication, and doing things the right way. They believe strongly in the power of creating lasting relationships and the value those relationships hold. Their success is based on trust and the relationships created with the people and communities they serve across the state of Nebraska. There really is no place like Nebraska Realty. Pivot control has never been easier. T&L Irrigation now offers a new control panel called Precision Point Touch. It's a full-color, 7-inch graphic touchscreen that's easy to use. It gives you lots of great tools to make your irrigation faster and more efficient. Set up your pivots the way you want. You can update your older controls to the new Precision Point Control Panel, too. Call your local TNL dealer or visit TLIRR.com. TNL Irrigation, like no other. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. Your holidays could be even happier if you win the Nebraska Lottery's Slayful of Joy promotion. 
Until January 5th, enter non-winning Nebraska Lottery holiday scratch tickets for a chance to win $1,000, $3,000, or $5,000 in one of our three drawings. Choose from $1 Merry Match 2, $3 Holiday Prize Lines, and $5 Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Enter the slate full of joy promotion, and you could start 2022 by winning a jolly little jackpot. Top prize odds vary by game. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. This year, fire off your holiday catering wish list of Famous Dave's. For smaller gatherings, get their legendary pit barbecue and Famous Sides to go. Fixing for a larger group? There's delivery and setup. Or go all out with full service where Famous Dave's catering team handles all the details while you savor all the glory. While you're at it, Get your mitts on a $10 reward card when you purchase a $50 gift card. Holiday catering and gifting by Famous Dave's. Because when there's smoke and fire, there's joyful and triumph. Located in Lincoln and Bellevue and Famous Dave's. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today we're tackling the issue of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. GMOs may sound scary, but they're actually benefiting our environment and consumers. That's because GMO crops help solve specific problems like insects, food waste, and droughts. By selecting good traits from one plant or organism and adding them to another, farmers are safely using science to produce high-quality foods better than ever before. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Our Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse First 18 brand, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. Andy on our chat room wants to say that Beats does make an AirPod like wireless headphones. Oh, yeah. So, I knew that. Yeah. But you call them Beats still. They're still called right. Beats. But I'm just talking about the ones that go over yeah. the top of your head and cup your ears. And... Oh, yeah. No, those are still those are still in for sure. Okay. All right. Maybe, hey. I need, maybe I need a pair for Christmas. Yeah, you should right. ask for that. You Texas know. has rallied 17 all. Hey, also, I wanted to get this in here before we... How about Priscilla Joseph, Mickey, Mickey Joseph's wife, who we've talked about since she's he's signed on to be a coach, how hype she's been on her social media. She just put out a tweet. Hey, Nebraska uh, Husker Nation, Huskers, y'all took me from 17 followers to 2K in a matter of six days. <laughs> Hashtag best college fans ever. And then people have responded, that's what we do. We're excited. Welcome. And she said, best welcome home ever. Good so it's awesome. I can't wait to meet her. She's a fun follow. So let's, let's come yeah. on. Let's keep it going. Keep it rising. Let's get her to 3K in a matter of seven days. Something I have been negligent, horribly negligent the last couple of days. I want to give an official shout out to Johnny Rogers. Oh, yeah. Fighting COVID. He's been in the hospital up in Omaha since around Thanksgiving. He's doing better. Uh, but get better, Jet. We need to see you out and about. He is one of my favorite people on the, on the planet. I know. I loved when I got to talk to him at Oklahoma. He's a great, great interview, great personality. And, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, wish him well and sending him speedy recovery wishes. No doubt one of Nebraska's three Heisman Trophy winners. One of the other ones, Eric Crouch, went officially into the College Football Hall of Fame early in the week out in Las Vegas. Had a big ceremony out there. A lot of great names in college football history were inducted into the Hall of Fame. Bob Stoops, another one that went into the Hall earlier this week. But congrats to Eric Crouch. He's a fantastic guy, just a fun guy to be around. I don't know how much you've been around Eric, Jessica, but he's always always upbeat and positive, and I just love that about Eric. And he's so humble. I've, been, I've heard you know, a few of his interviews since he's – you know, people talking to him out there in Vegas, and he said, you know, this isn't for me. This is my team. And, you know, big, big kind of push about his team was the one that got him there, and uh, he wasn't one that was taking a lot of the credit for himself. And Nebraska had purchased a little rolling billboard out there. That for was cool. Eric that was driving down the street on the strip. So neat thing out there. So congrats to Eric. Best wishes to Johnny the Jet. Get better, Johnny. We want to see you back at some sporting events here during the winter months. All right, that's going to do it for us. We got Husker Volleyball headed your way sometime tonight. Not sure what time they're going to get that match underway. Washington and Texas. The Huskies have won the first two sets. I failed to mention earlier when I was talking about Big Ten teams, Ohio State did get beat today. They lost in straights to, Ohio, uh, to Georgia Tech, so they are out. But uh, right now, this is a battle in set three. I think it's 1918 Huskies. I think 20. I think, uh, well, 20? There, there might be a review going on, but yeah, this is uh, Ooh. intense. 2018, you're at Texas is challenging a point right now. That'll do it for us. Hang with us. JB, Lauren Cook, Wes, coming up next Husker Volleyball. Go Big Red.
Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. <sighs> Sometimes being an office printer feels like I'm competing in an Olympic sport. Thankfully, I have Marco's managed print services on my team. Marco's game plan helps me make big plays while saving big bucks. And Marco's lightning fast tech support gets me back in the game fast. <sighs> I'm up. Find out what your printers could be saying with Marco's managed print services at marconet.com. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Lutz is an integrated business solutions firm born and raised in Nebraska with offices in Omaha, Lincoln, Hastings, and Grand Island. Lutz provides expert accounting, consulting, financial, technology, M&A, and talent solutions tailored to you. Lutz embraces your business as their own to discover the right solutions to help you thrive. They mind what matters for businesses or individuals seeking a partner to help energize and heighten financial and organizational success. Visit Lutz.us slash GBR. Much like the values of the people of Nebraska, Nebraska Realty was built on the principles of hard work, dedication, and doing things the right way. They believe strongly in the power of creating lasting relationships and the value those relationships hold. Their success is based on trust and the relationships created with the people and communities they serve across the state of Nebraska.